Hi there, here's a quick revision video on asymmetric information. Now asymmetric information happens when one party in an economic transaction, it could be the buyer, it could be the seller, has more or better information than the other. Now this imbalance of information can certainly distort market outcomes and lead to inefficiencies. It's a form or cause of market failure where the allocation of goods and services is not Pareto optimal due to this unequal access to pertinent relevant information. Lots of causes, first of all, hidden characteristics. One party knows something about themselves, the other doesn't. And as we'll see in a minute, a seller, for example, might know the car they're trying to flog is a lemon rather than a peach. Hidden actions. One party takes actions unobservable by the other. An employee, for example, shirking at work. We link that to something called the principal agent problem. Costly information gathering. So it can be very expensive or time consuming to gather the information leading to unequal knowledge. And complexity of products. It can often be very hard to fully understand the quality of a product or the uncertainties and the risks involved. For example, complex financial products such as pensions or cryptocurrencies. Now, the famous example of this is the market for lemons. This idea was introduced by economist George Akerlof, a Nobel Prize winner, in his 1970 paper, The Market for Lemons, Quality, Uncertainty and the Market Mechanism. And it shows how asymmetric information can cause high quality goods to disappear from the market. Consider step one. Let's look at the second hand car market where two types of used car exist. Peaches are good quality used cars. Lemons are poor quality used cars. They may look fine, but they often have one or more hidden problems. Now here's the asymmetry. Only the sellers know which is which. Buyers can't tell just by looking. Step two, the average price. Well, because buyers can't distinguish peaches from lemons, they're only willing to pay a price based on the average expected quality. So let's say a peach is worth $10,000, but a lemon is only worth $5,000. Now buyers don't know which they're getting before they buy. So they offer a midpoint, $7,500. Well, Sellers of peaches, a good car, know their car is worth 10,000, but they're only being offered 7,500. So they might think, well, I'd rather keep my car, maybe sell it privately, than sell it for less than it's worth. I'll take it off the market. They don't sell. As a result, the mix of cars now, now shifts. We get a bigger percentage of lemons remaining. And buyers begin to realise, wait a minute, most of the cars I'm looking at are basically junk. So they lower their offer even more, perhaps down to 6,000 from 7,500, expecting worse quality. It's a form of hedging behaviour. They don't want to get lumbered with a lemon. This drives more good cars and honest sellers out of the market. So eventually, the only sellers left in Akerlof's famous paper were those with pretty rubbish cars to sell. Now, the buyers are totally mistrustful. They may only offer their low prices or leave the market entirely. So the risk is market failure because the market is full and stuffed with lemons. Well, to address the problem, of course, this theory is now 50 years old. We've had lots of different uh, interventions and approaches in the second hand car market. Buyers now have access to vehicle history reports certified pre-owned programs, including MOT histories and what have you, extended warranties, a form of insurance if the car breaks down, and full mechanistic inspections, 100 or 200 tests, diagnostic tests, which can be done before a car or used car is put on the market. Now, these tools can help to reduce information asymmetry and restore a degree of trust in the market. But buyer beware, there is always an asymmetry in this kind of second-hand market. In the UK in 2023, over 7 million used cars were bought and sold in the UK. Now, this figure is over three times the volume of new car sales, highlighting the significant role of the used car market in the auto sector. The majority of cars bought in the UK are lemons, 
well, sorry, they use cars or second-hand cars and the, the risk of being a lemon. So asymmetric information is a really important aspect of information economics that you need to understand. Thanks for joining in this video.